Ego I open up with thousand message of Jesus Christ written by bringing to you and ten revelations of messages of Christians from across the world. Behold, I come quickly. Be ready. Hi, my brothers and sisters. I hope you're well. It's Easter. As maybe you already know, I usually speak in French. Uh, so I would try with the help of the Holy Spirit to explain you this dream in English. Before that, please let us pray. Father, please help us to understand your word and your message with the light of the Holy Spirit. Help us to be vigilant and pray constantly. Father, we apologize for our sleep. Forgive us all our sins. Thank you for washing our dresses in your blood. We pray in the glorified name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, my brothers and sisters, so I will share you the dream. It was down this morning. So in the dream, a girl was shocked, in panic, and many other people too. She said in English that Jesus lived a very little short time to wake his church and for those who are lukewarm to repent and that everything is going to shake. Yeah, as if everything in this world is going to shake. And I saw Jesus in a position as ready on a white horse with a red man coat. His face was shining with a powerful light. He said in English, I precise this because usually the Lord Jesus speaks to me in French, but this morning it was in English. So Jesus said, I am shaking everything, the climate, the ground with earthquakes, the atmosphere, the sky, the nation's relationship. Brothers and sisters, remember in Matthew 24, when the Lord says, nations against nations. I saw people was panicked. There was volcanic eruptions. People was running. Citizens' relationship was broken. The atmosphere was very gray. Children was rebellious against their parents. They were scared, those people who was running. Jesus said, I do this to wake my church, to bring her to repent and obedience in my word. That's why my judgment fall to wake her. That's what I remember from Jesus' conversation, you know. Okay, then in the dream, it was as if the girl believed that the church still had time to repent and obey the word of God, to whitewash our dresses in his blood. But no, the time was at the very end in the dream. As I was sleeping, the Holy Spirit remembered me this message that I'm sharing to you and wake me to write it. And Jesus confirmed this message with 1 Peter 4, 17 to 19. I will read the part of 17. He said, For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? Then 1 Peter 5, 8 to 10. Okay. I will read the part 8, the verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring, a roaring lion, pardon, wealth about seeking whom he may devour. Okay, uh, be tolerant with my English, please. <laughs> okay, I do my best. So, brothers and sisters, we have to be careful with the word of God. You have to be prepared for the rapture. You can think, oh, but our time is not the time of God. Because one day for us is like 1,000 years for him. But don't forget that we are in end times. In the last days. The Lord have to wait a lot since almost 2,000 years ago. If you don't wake yourself with all those alarms... 
If you don't care, Jesus will come as a chief for you. So please, all the church, repent. God bless you. Be prepared for the rapture. Bye.